Hey, what's going on everyone? It's a frigid cold day here in Fort Worth. I don't even know what the temperature is, but I know when I walked outside, it was freezing cold. So I'm gonna try to try to make it through. Got a few errands to run early this morning. I just wanted to kind of hop on and, and talk about this whole great resignation thing. So anybody who knows me knows I recently got my superintendent certification here in Texas. I'm excited about it. It was some hard work to get it done. I got it done now. I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to utilize that moving forward. In the last few days, there have been multiple superintendents who have put their resignations in, some effective at the end of this year, some effective at the end of their contracts. So it makes you wonder why are they putting their resignations in? Anybody would tell you, you know, the superintendency is a very difficult position. It's a job that I, I think is a thankless job. You know, you get pay very well in some districts and some districts you don't necessarily get you know paid as much as you think superintendents would get paid but you have to think about all of the stress and all of the angst that they have to to go through in their positions and you have to just ask yourselves if it's worth it and if so many people are collectively quitting that position and putting in resignations you have to ask yourself if it's something you want to jump into you know I've had that have had that dilemma for, for quite a while now because I've seen how difficult the position is. I know that I have always aspired to get into that position, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's such difficult times in education right now. It's difficult times being on the front lines, obviously, when you're talking about paraprofessionals and you're talking about teachers in the classroom and all of that you know, goes all the way up to Central Avenue. It's just, a, it's a tough gig to be in. We're gonna need some really strong leaders moving forward because some really good, really dependable, really game-changing superintendents are leaving the position because of everything that is going on in the profession and in our country right now. So it's not just education where you have the great resignation. It is so many different careers. I think a lot of people are realizing that they are underappreciated in whatever particular position they may be in. And they're just saying, hey, I don't have to put up with this anymore. Now, at the same time, I also believe that the grass is not always greener on the other side. I've seen people resign positions and then go to a worse position. I've seen people resign positions and then go back to that position. So I think ultimately you need to analyze any decision that you make you don't want to make a rash decision you don't want to just make something because it's the cool thing or it's the end thing to do you don't want to make a decision based off of emotion in that moment you need to develop a, a, a clearly thought out plan and decide if what you're going to do is going to benefit you in the long run or if it's going to ben benefit your family in the long run and if you can check that mark and you say, okay, me resigning from this position, whether it's immediately or in two weeks or in a month, will this bring more peace and happiness and comfort to my family? And if you can check that off and you can say yes, then it's something you should consider, whatever that, whatever career you're in, whatever position you are in. I will also add that people really are of the belief a lot of time that the higher paying the position, the the happier you'll be. And as I discussed with the millionaire teacher, Andrew Hallam, that's not necessarily the case. There's actually a, a, a breaking point. There's a point where the more money you make, the more miserable you may be. So whatever that point is, you know, it, it all depends. You know, if you are making $500,000 a year, obviously you're not working 40 hours a week or you're not working 30 hours a week or 20 hours a week. And there's a particular threshold to where the the time you're putting in and the stress that you're putting in isn't ne necessarily in line with, with the pay. So how much more can you do with $500,000 a year than you can do with $300,000 a year or $250,000 a year? You gotta ask yourself those questions. Everything is, everything is give and take. You know, it, you're not just, that money isn't free. You putting in some, some time you're putting in some work regardless you know i remember there was a certain number that someone gave asked me 
what how much do you need to make to be happy or something and i surpassed that number years ago and i am happy at the same time it's not because of the money like i'm 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 happy that i i'm able to provide the necessary resources for my family i am happy that i have stable employment at the same time i don't think that always trying to chase more money is going to be beneficial i've always told myself i got to a certain point once i once i hit the mark that i dreamed of hitting then i said after that you know what if i can if i never have a promotion and I, i'm happy in the position i'm in cool but i did say i will never chase another promotion for money again like i'm a, if i want to get a promotion just to get a promotion because that's the position i want to be in fine but i'm in the position now where i do not have to chase promotions just for raises and that's a really good position that that you know that's a good position to be in for anybody and that's what we're all about in this fire movement is to try to put ourselves in positions to make decisions that we want to make and not decisions that others want to make for us and we're putting ourselves in positions to have options now and in the future so hey i appreciate you all for continuing to follow me you know we got these basic videos and it's just everyday living i'm coming to you as a peer, I'm coming to you as someone who is basically regular. You know, I look like you all, you look like me, and we're just trying to build this wealth together. So I appreciate you all for continuing to rock with me. This is about the great resignation. Thankfully, I'm in a position and in a career that I personally enjoy. Unfortunately, not everyone can say that. Same thing about our career. People have different experiences than I do. And that's unfortunate because our children really need us especially in these these difficult times but you also have to show respect and you have to make the working conditions easier for the the, the frontline workers the ones who are putting in that work and who are taking care of our, our our kiddos on a daily basis and this is across the board regardless of your career you need to feel value when you go into work every day you need to feel like you are part of the organization and you need to feel wanted and you need to feel needed and you need to be compensated for that work that you put in on a daily basis. So, hey, tell me what you think. I hope you all have a phenomenal weekend and I hope you all enjoy your MLK holiday. Appreciate you all for continuing to rock with me. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please consider subscribing if you like the content and going back to previous content, checking it out, and let me know what you think, all right? Y'all take it easy.